to get it going. You can hear it. the pink says they activated that way, knows how far away bot two is from it, or bot one is from it. And you guys were able to utilize it, it was pretty good, huh? Well, we were able yep. to because we weren't um, using it for exact positioning, just for rel just for um, approximate. Ooh. Hmm. What happened there? Hmm. That's weird. It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck on the side. Okay. Well, anyway, it was scripting it mm -hmm. earlier. <laughs> yeah. A lot of weight on them. <laughs> <laughs> we did run into a slight weight problem. We were going to use a uh, digital encoder, but we think it was because of the uh, added weight and the distance of that weight out from the center that the digital encoder just had a hard time. We, it, it could not go fast enough to, to calibrate itself. And also, um, uh, when it did calibrate itself, it had erratic data. So it didn't work too well. Yeah. Now it looks like it's gonna work this time. Okay. So we have also open and close again just to make sure it's centered on the platform. There. Hey. Yeah. So after a length of time, lag time, so that it uh, knows that the other bobot is in position, it will start moving, grip the Lego, and uh, start going to its destination. It's just good, good, good. Hey. Surf it. Oh. oh. <laughs> cool. So there's all these sensors, these sensors to do most most of the positioning, but the two the two uses we found for the timing would would be for when there's very very precise timing, like you know the exact exact angular velocity of the platform, and also for the, the lag time, which is not very precise, but it, it's useful because we don't know exactly how, where they are in reference to each other, how long they're going to take. And although we, we use we, we use the uh, rippers and we use the some of the uh, supplies that uh, was offered by HSC Electronics or for Parallax, we're also able to make additions and make changes. And there was little things that we had to. There was all in the details that we kept getting things this mess stuff and just not working precisely right. So we're always to make modifications and the changes quite often. And the, I guess the main reason about the pink for us is because we use the line kind of as guidance to get, to give relative uh, kind of like an angular measurement, and then you just use the pink sensors to give it basically a distance measurement. And that is the complete cycle of the bow box. You want to try it one more time to see if you can get it going without any touching? I, I think we just let's, oh. I, I think we've used our time. Yeah. But. Here's a blue path. Oh yeah. That was not